Hey, what's going on, guys? Norski here. In this video, I'm comparing the Farquhar Hill Storm to the Auto Loading 8.25 Extended to see which gun is better based on each gun's current weapon statistics at the time of this video being made, and also my personal opinion on what I think of these two medic guns. Starting off with the Farquhar Hill Storm, this gun is located in the medic class and was recently added into Battlefield 1 in DLC 3 Turning Tides. The way you can unlock this gun is by getting 25 kills with the M1907 SL Trench and also performing 10 revives in one round. The Farquhar Hill also has an optical variant. Now, the Farquhar Hill Storm holds 20 rounds in its magazine along with an additional 60 rounds on reserve. This gun has the fourth largest magazine capacity in the medic class. The Fedorov Aftomat and the Self Slaughter M1916 each have the largest magazine capacities, both holding 26 rounds. Now the Farquhar Hill has a reload time of 3 seconds with ammo left in the magazine and a reload time of 3.2 seconds when the magazine is empty. It's kinda crazy that the reload times are so close to each other where it almost doesn't matter when you reload this gun. Most guns in Battlefield 1 have at least half a second or even a full second difference when it comes to reloading with ammo left or with an empty magazine. Moving on to its damage ratings, between 0 meters and 34 meters, the Farquhar Hill Storm has a max damage output of 42, which means this gun is tied with the Auto 8.35 and the M1907 SL for having the second highest amount of damage output. In fact, its damage ratings are identical to the Auto Loading 8.35. Between 35 meters and 52 meters, the Farquhar Hill slowly drops to its minimum damage output of 30. From 0 meters to 47 meters, this gun is a 3 shot kill, and from 48 meters and out, it becomes a 4 shot kill. This gun holds damage and overall power extremely well. Since most gunfights that you have with your enemies are typically within 50 meters, you can almost always rely on this gun being a 3 shot kill, which is pretty amazing. And for it to have the exact same damage output as the Auto Loading 8 Factory and Marksman is also incredible because the Auto Loading 8 Factory and Marksman only hold 5 rounds in their magazine, which limits its effectability. Although the Auto Loading 8 does have a much quicker rate of fire than the Farquhar Hill. Moving on to this gun's overall accuracy, when it comes to close range, this gun isn't really that bad, but it's also not very good. It has a high damage output to be effective at close range, but it also has a pretty slow rate of fire at only 257 rounds per minute. To get an idea, it would almost be like using the Mondragon at close range. You pretty much won't even stand a chance when going against SMGs at close range. So yeah, this gun isn't really that great at close range. Medium range is where this gun shines, and man, it really shines at this range. With this gun always being a 3-4 shot kill along with a fairly large magazine size, you can really pick off a lot of people in a short amount of time. The iron sights are very clean and very accurate, which makes aiming pretty easy, especially at medium and long range. The accuracy at medium range is on point because the recoil is very low and easy to control. If you're moving while aiming, the bullet spread does become much less consistent, so obviously when using a semi-automatic rifle, Try and stay stationary to keep the control and gun accuracy precise, especially when using the Farquhar Hill. At long range, this gun is very solid. The accuracy and control are good at this range still. The only issue at long range is it can get pretty tough to consistently get hit markers, let alone kills at this range. There really isn't much room for error when it comes to aiming at this range. Like I said earlier, the Farquhar Hill Storm has a rate of fire at only 257 rounds per minute, which means it has the third slowest fire rate in the meta class. Although it's tied for first with four other guns in the meta class for having a muzzle velocity rating of 800 meters per second. Overall, the Farquhar Hill is a great semi-automatic rifle. If you can, definitely try and unlock it because it's a lot of fun to use. This gun offers great damage output along with amazing accuracy. It also has some of the lowest recoil ratings in the entire meta class. The only weakness this gun has is its slow rate of fire and also its ineffectiveness at close range. But I guess that helps keep it somewhat balanced in the game. Overall, this is a very, very good gun, and my overall rating for the Farquhar Hill Storm is a 7.5 out of 10. Moving on to the other gun in this comparison is the Auto Loading 8.25 Extended. This gun is also located in the meta class. This gun has three total variants, including the Auto Loading 8 Factory, which unlocks at rank 1 for the meta class, the Extended unlocks at rank 2, and the Marksman unlocks at rank 3. The Auto Loading 8 Extended holds 16 rounds in its magazine, along with an additional 64 in reserve. This gun has the fifth largest magazine capacity in the meta class, holding four less rounds than the Farquhar Hill. 
The reload time for the auto loading aid extended is 2.433 seconds with ammo left in the magazine and 3.033 seconds when the magazine is completely empty. Both reload times are actually some of the fastest in the meta class. They're also both faster than the Farquhar Hill. The auto loading 8.25 extended might as well be its own unique gun in Battlefield 1 because the auto loading 8.35 factory and marksman are completely different in so many ways. Let's move on to its damage ratings. Between 0 meters and 11 meters, it has a max damage output of 38. Between 12 meters and 32 meters, it drops to its minimum damage output of only 21, which is the second lowest minimum damage output in the meta class. The only gun that has a lower minimum damage output in the meta class is the Fedorov Optimat at only 19. From 0 meters to 17 meters, this gun is a 3 shot kill. From 18 meters to 27 meters, it's a 4 shot kill. And from 28 meters and out, it becomes a 5 shot kill. You can see where this gun differentiates from the Farquhar Hill, and that's its damage. The autoloading extended does not hold its overall damage for nearly as long as the Farquhar Hill range-wise, which means the gameplay style of this gun is quite a bit different. Moving on to its overall accuracy, starting at close range, the autoloading aid extended is probably one of the best medic guns at close range because it has a decent magazine size along with a fairly fast rate of fire especially for a semi-automatic rifle. It also has great control of this range and good damage output. I would have to say that close range is its best range where it will be the most effective. At medium range this gun is still fairly effective but its damage is much lower which means it will typically be a 4-5 to five shot kill at this range. Its overall accuracy and control are very good at this range, mostly because the recoil is super low, especially for a gun that has a decent rate of fire. At long range, I would say this gun is really not that great, but that's because it really isn't even designed to be used at this range. It still has good control and low recoil, but it will always be a 5 shot kill at this range in most situations, so I wouldn't recommend using this gun at long range. The autoloading 8.25 extended has a rate of fire of 359 rounds per minute, which means it fires 102 rounds more per minute than the Farquhar Hill. It also has the second quickest fire rate in the meta class, only behind the Fedorov Optimat. The muzzle velocity on the autoloading 8 extended is a meager 660 meters per second. Overall, the autoloading 8 extended does not disappoint. It is a great gun at close range with its good rate of fire, especially for a semi automatic rifle. It also has great accuracy and control at pretty much all ranges, although this gun is not that effective at long range. I've rated this gun once before and that was back last March. Here are my original ratings for the autoloading 8 extended. The old ratings are actually pretty solid. Now my new updated overall ratings for the autoloading 8.25 extended is pretty similar. It's 7.2 out of 10. Both guns are honestly great. They are probably both top 5 guns in the meta class. With that said, I feel that the Farquhar Hill is just a more well rounded gun overall, which is why I think it's better. The Farquhar Hill has better damage and range, slightly lower recoil, and slightly better accuracy compared to the Autoloading 8 Extended. Honestly, some people like the Autoloading 8 Extended more just because it might fit their playstyle better. For me though, I prefer the Farquhar Hill Storm and that's why it edges out the autoloading 8 extended. Now after hearing my opinion, I want to know what gun do you guys prefer between these two guns. Let me know in the comments. Anyways, thanks for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed, and also feel free to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks again guys, and I'll catch you later.